Hi guys, welcome back. So you can see I'm doing a Zara haul today. Um, these are pieces that I picked up over the last while. So some of them might not be in stock, some of them still might be. I'll link everything down below. And for reference, I am about 5'7", about 5'8", five, five, and a UK size 10, just for sizing and stuff like that. And I'll mention what sizes I get and everything. If I forget, I'm sorry. So yeah, these are just pieces that I've picked up over the last while. Um, probably won't be wearing a lot of them now because in Ireland we're gone on to a six week lockdown again. So I can still wear them when we're finished out of the lockdown, so that's okay. And yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it and show you what I have on. So sorry in advance if this lighting is not the best, but uh, we gotta work with what we have because the lighting in Ireland is not that great. So I literally just have this little yoke here. So this is the first little outfit. These jeans I got in a UK 10 and they're the kind of flared ones. I do have another pair of the flared ones from Zara and um, which are actually a lot nicer than these. I just, I do like the color of these but they're not that long and they're not too flared but they're so nice and they're pretty true to size so I'd say get your regular size and then this top I got this a while ago, I got it in a size medium and it's actually a bodysuit. So it's kind of like obviously tidy here as you can see and then kind of goes to the shoulders and drapes all along here. I'm not too sure about it, but I did take the tag off. So we're keeping it. I don't have any other tops like this and it is more of a dressy top. So I think it's good for like nights out and stuff like this, not necessarily with maybe these jeans, but um, yeah, I do like it. So I'm obviously going to keep it. I have to because the tag's off but I just love the colour and it's that kind of like satin finish. Maybe with your hair back so it's like not too much going on up here. But yeah I do have quite broad shoulders and it does make your shoulders look broader so it's probably not the most flattering for me but I still do really like it. These are the first two pieces. The jeans were 39.95 and then the top I'm not sure. I just checked the top was 26. I won't have the prices of everything on hand because some of the tags are off the clothes, but for anything that I have on hand, I'll leave here. Otherwise, there's going to be links down below, so you can check on the website. But yeah, this is the first little outfit or pieces anyway. Probably should have paired them up better because they don't really look too great together. Every time. Every time. With they fail. Yeah, if you have any suggestions of what I could pair this up with, let me know down below. Okay, so next up we have this little OTD. So these jeans are also the flared kind of jeans, but they're way more flared than the other ones. And also if I go on my tippy toes, there's still a lot of length left in them. And um, I got these also in a UK 10, but they're way bigger, like you can see here. There's a lot more um, space in them, so you could definitely size down in these if you wanted. It doesn't really bother me too much. Um, and then also the bodysuit, I got this. This is like their standard bodysuit that basically everyone has. It's in this little khaki color. I did put little um, things here, like, you know, those little daisy yokes to try, you know, stop any nips coming through. But I think it actually just made it worse because it's all kind of like weird there. But anyway, we'll ignore that. And also, I'm aware my ribs stick out here. Even from when I was younger, they always stick out. It's weird, I know. But that's what that is. So we'll just ignore that. But yeah, I got this in a size medium, which my other ones are also a size medium. However, I feel like they've changed these a bit. So I feel like it's way more cut in the side here. Yeah, with my other ones, I can wear a regular bra and then put like a little thing to make my bra like a racer back. So you can't actually see the bra and you can still wear one, which I prefer. Where this one, it's actually so deeply cut that I can't wear the bra with it. So yeah, it's kind of annoying. They obviously changed the cut of it or something like that. I don't really know. But um, I really love these two colors together. I think this is a really nice outfit for anything really. You could dress it up or dress it down, obviously. I just love these colors together. I love a light wash denim. Um, and I'm loving green at the moment, especially this kind of like sagey soft green I love. So yeah, I would say I got this in a medium like my regular ones, but I could have gotten um, a size small just to kind of like fit a little bit tighter um, and obviously give a bit more support if I can't wear a bra. So that's what I would suggest with this. But yeah, I love this outfit. I did actually share this on my Instagram. So some of you might have seen it already. And yeah, love these. I actually can't wait to wear these jeans out. I love the flare jeans look. I love that that's all in. So I'm going to throw on the next little piece. Okay, so this is the next piece, which I've also featured on my Instagram. So some of you might be familiar with it, but it's this cream shacket. And I got this in a medium to large. And because I want it really, really oversized, because obviously I'm going to wear it as a jacket. And this one was, I think it was 55 euro. But I love these. I think they're so, so nice. Um, and really great for layering as well. 
and I just love this plain color. I know they have like a lot of checked in, which I love, but I wanted to get um, a plain color first to see if I'd wear it and then kind of go from there. This is the size of it here. It is quite oversized, but obviously you're gonna wear it as a jacket, so it's perfect. And I have worn like knit jumpers underneath this and they fit perfect, so I absolutely love this. I will insert the picture from my Instagram. I wore this with um, like leather look skinny trousers and then a knit and then boots. Um, which is just another white stylet, so yeah, I love this. It is so much harder to show full length things in my setup because I'm so restricted with space, but this is like a khaki kind of green uh, coat that I got and I just love this. I think this is more expensive. I think it might've been around 150, but I love it. And I got this in a size. Oh, I still have the tag on. That's immersing because I have worn this already. What size did I get? So I got this in a size medium and it was 160 euro, but I just love this color. I think it's um, a real classic color and it can be like paired with so many different colors like black, neutrals, beiges, the whole lot, even with denim, it looks really nice as well. I don't really get too many trendy pieces to be honest because I find it hard to make outfits, let's be real. And I buy a lot of trendy pieces and then I just never wear them and then yeah, it's such a waste of money. So I said to myself, this time if I'm gonna pick up pieces for this winter, I'm just gonna get things that I know I'm gonna get to wear out of and if I, date them when I buy them I'm just going to return them straight away so yeah I love this it's good length as well and it's not too thick so I wouldn't say it's a good winter coat but you can definitely kind of uh, layer up underneath it because it is big enough but um yeah I love this so much and obviously it has as you saw at the start the little uh tie around the waist as well so that is the coat and on to the next okay so before I move on to the next pieces I thought I'd just show you um, one of the kind of pair of shoes that I got, which are these like boots, wellies, whatever you want to call them. Um, obviously, these are huge on Instagram at the moment. If I can't lean down, you can see them better. Um, Bottega have like obviously the popular pair, and then Gani, I think, is the other brand that a lot of people are getting theirs from. But to be completely honest, I wasn't even sure if I'd wear them. Um, so I didn't want to spend, what, 300 euro to 800 euro on a pair of wellies, basically. So, I just got the ones from Zara. And I do really love them. They're in, I don't know if you can see, it's like a kind of khaki green colour again. I know not a lot of people wear them with um, oversized jeans. But I just wanted to show you them really quickly. I know a lot of people wear them with, like, dresses and then have a bit of the leg showing and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, they're only 50 euro, so I'm gonna keep buying because I was gonna buy a pair of wellies last year for when I'm walking Hank. And even if I don't wear them stylishly, I'll wear them practically when I'm walking the dog. So yeah, I actually really like the color of them as well. And then for 50 euro, like I was looking at the Hunter wellies, which are way more expensive. So these are a bit of a bargain in comparison. I'll throw in a picture somewhere here on the screen of boots similar that are styled really nicely that other girls wear because I do really love them when they're styled up like dressy. Okay, so this is the next little look. I'm actually out of breath trying to get these, from trying to get these boots on. So I'm not too sure about the boots. I don't have any boots like this, but I did, I feel like I have to kind of go down like this to show you. I did want to get a pair of kind of like day heel boots, you know, for like going out for drinks in a pub or something. Not that I'm doing that anytime soon, but you know, when you're casual, but like smart casual. I needed a pair of kind of boots like that because I only have flat boots or proper high heel boots. So these jeans I got a while ago, but they're the high rise straight leg jean from Zara. And I always pick them up. I love them. They're really flattering. Um, and this one has like the raw hem, which I love. And I do think I like these boots. Like they're very comfortable. You'd wear them all day. Um, and they were 50, no, sorry, they were 40 euro. So I think that's pretty good. Considering I need a pair of boots like this, I don't mind keeping these ones because they're 40 euro. So if I don't get as much of wear out of them, it's not too um, disheartening. Obviously, I didn't spend too much money on them. Um, this belt I got, I think, from Topshop a while ago, but obviously it's just black belt with a little gold buckle. And then this t-shirt, I'm sure everyone, I'll just take the jacket off. Everyone knows these t-shirts from Zara. I think I got mine in a large, let me just check. Yes, I got mine in a large, probably should have gotten a medium, which is the story of my life, but here we are. These jeans, by the way, are a size 10, and they have loosened up quite a bit. See, like if I go like this, you can see the little line here. So I don't know if I should get an eight the next time or not, but I'm, I'm just not an eight like, but anyway. So this is the white version of this t-shirt. I'd say medium probably would have fit well. Uh, guys, if you've watched any of my hauls, you know I always get the wrong size and everything and I always buy size too big. But it doesn't matter. 
I still really like it and I've worn this already um, and I also got it in black so I'll show you that now. In case you're wondering, the leather jacket, this one here is an All Saints Balfern, Balfern, I'll leave a link down below, um, leather jacket that I got, I think it was last year and I swear it's the best investment I ever made, I think it's about 400 euros so they are pricey, they might go on sale, I'm not really sure but I absolutely love it and I wear it all the time with dresses, with jeans, with anything really, I wear, I really get the wear out of it, so I am I love it. I do have a Zara leather jacket as well and they have really nice ones too, so I'll link one of those down below also, but if you're looking to invest in a good leather jacket, then I highly recommend this one here. So I'm gonna throw on the black version of this. I know you can probably tell how it's gonna look, but just in case you want to see what it looks like when it's actually on, so I'll put that on now. So this one here is just the black version of the white one. And again, I've worn this already and I just know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I might pick up the medium size because looking at this here, it does look quite big, um, which obviously it's more casual and relaxed, but I feel like it looks a little bit too big. So I might get the medium, let me know what you think. Um, I think they're like less than 10 euros. So I don't mind picking up a few because they're more casual and kind of stuff that you wear every day, but because of the kind of like shoulders on them, and the cut around here, they just are a bit more trendy and kind of more fashionable. So yeah, I really, really like them. And then I'm actually pretty happy with these boots. I like the heel on them. Like I said, it's really comfortable. So yeah. What else? I think everything else that I have left is pretty casual. So that's why I'm ending on that. So I can just stay in it after I finish filming. But yeah, I'll throw on the next bit now. Okay, maybe if I go back here, you can see these boots a bit better with the jeans i just guys i'm so restricted like i said i'm literally like up against the wall here but so you can kind of see a little bit better how they sit i actually really like the look of the straight leg jeans with the raw hem um with boots but yeah i know it's not for everyone but i i really do like it okay so the next <laughs> piece is this is kind of random i know but i did get a pair of shorts coming into winter don't ask me why but i just seen these well i'll tell you why i seen these during summer and i really like them i love the color of them and um, but they were sold out so they were in my like wish list or whatever online um, or on the app whatever it was and then they came and then they came back into stock so i picked them up and i got a size large because i wanted them to be really oversized and comfy and they were 13 euro and this is just a, a redone t-shirts i'll link this also down below but yeah i think they're really nice for just like being comfy around the house or like a big oversized jumper actually i'm gonna throw on an oversized jumper one sec it's like this kind of just comfy cozy look and i love it this is a jumper i got from h&m in rome i think it was uh, a while ago but it's so comfy and i love it and um, yes yeah, so maybe you know Next summer I might be able to whip these out, or if not, I'll just use them as pajamas eventually. But yeah, I love them. I love the colour of them. They kind of remind me of um if anyone follows Matilda, I think it's Jerf. She has like the Jerf, I'm probably saying that wrong, Avenue clothes. And I just it reminds me of that kind of look. A little bit of a random one. But we do have some actual trackies that I'll put on now. Okay, so last but not least, my battery is now flashing. I got this oversized hoodie. I got this in a size large and it's 30 euro. I also picked it up in black but I think it's easier to see the lighter color and kind of see the details and how it, how it fits. So I put this one on instead. And then I got these trackies. I got these in a size large and they're only 16 euro. And um, the only thing about these is there's no uh, tie waist, so you can't adjust them. And um, which is kind of annoying, but I suppose they're only 16 euro, so you can't really expect everything for that price. And they are so comfy, so cozy. They're like fleece lined as well. So yeah, I love these. And that is the end of my Zara haul. My battery is literally flashing. So I think it's perfect to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave links of everything down below. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments of other videos you want me to film down below. And that is it for me. Thanks for watching.